To save time when the designers are routing pipe, we can set up a priority list for each of the components in a group and the selection list presented to the designer when an option is available will be ordered with the preferred part at the top of the list. Let's go ahead and open our spec from our desktop, exercise files. We're going to use part priority and our LinkedIn CS150. So we kind of touched briefly before on this triangle here, which tells us we have a part conflict. It means that we have more than one option available for each size in this category. And in this case, the gaskets are okay, but we're going to set a priority for these valves and for these elbows and the bolts. Now setting this up is a bit of a tedious job. So we'll just bear with me and try not to fall asleep while we do this. I'm going to start with the elbows. So to set up the priorities, we're going to come along and we're going to click on the little triangle with the exclamation point, And that's going to look at our part use priority dialog box. So essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to come across and say one inch. And what this means is when we're running a one inch piece of pipe and we want to run an elbow, we're presented with two options. We have the option of using a 45 degree or a 90 degree. Most cases we'd use a 90 degree. So to have that at the top of the list makes sense. Both options are available, but we just want to save some clicks. So if we're happy with this one being 90 at the top and 45, we can go ahead and say mark is resolved. And the same here, this list 90 then a 45, mark is resolved. And we just basically go down the list. And if for some reason, when we get to maybe an eight inch, if we want to reverse that, we would just then take our 45, move that to the top, and say mark is resolved, and our 10 inch, move that to the top, mark is resolved. And then when we hit apply and hit OK, you'll see that the elbows have changed. We don't have the little triangle anymore. We've got a green light. So that's just to say that the parts priority are being used and have been set up. Let's take a look at that again with the bolt set. So this is a little more complicated because we have four different options. So what we're going to do is we have to set this up again for each size. So I'm going to say we're going to use the stud bolt as first. So I'm going to grab the stud bolt and I'm going to move that to the top. And I'll use both the machine bolts and the lug bolt and say that's the order we want to use. I have to go down and repeat this for each one of the sizes in our category. I'm going to move that up. Unfortunately, there's no quick way to do this. It has to be done one at a time. And if you forget to mark one, as I'll just skip one here. I won't mark this one as being resolved here. I'm just going to move the stud bolt up. I'm going to come down to number eight. I'm going to move that up. And I'm going to show you what happens if you miss one. So even though we set those, we still have the triangles. And that's because we didn't actually set up each component in this selection. We missed one. We're going to go back again. And we have to scroll down to look for the one that doesn't have to check to resolved. There it is. We make sure we're in the right order. We have the stud first. We mark as resolved and apply. And you'll see that's changed too. And exactly the same process for the valves. If we want to use long pattern as being our default, mark as resolved. And so on. In this case, we don't have an option, so we can just set it like either one of these. Again, this mark is resolved. The trick being to remember to check this. This is where people always fall up a little bit. And, and there we go. It should be as done. So now when these parts are being used, the designers will be prompted for a list, and all it is is a selection list, and again, we're actually telling it to put the one that we're most likely to choose at the top of the list. So this is part priorities. So as tedious a job as this is, it will make your life easier for the designers over the course of the project. It's not necessary to set up a part priority, but it's always good to know that the features available and what the advantages are going to be when you actually use it.